Okay, so our next speaker, Alexei Rybkin from University of Alaska Fairbanks. And while his microphone is being set up, let me just announce the title. Continuous analog of binary boot transformation for the KDV equation. Uh, thank you uh, so much for inviting me to talk uh, at this wonderful conference. And of course, uh, thank you to uh, the organizers for bringing us uh, together. And uh, I'm going to talk uh, about pretty classical uh, uh, thing with uh, perhaps a new twist, uh, which is a, a continuous analog of the well-known uh, Darbu transform, actually binary Darbu transform. And uh, uh, well, uh, short introduction, then terminology, which I need to introduce because some of the language I'm going to speak is not that uh, familiar to the audience, and then uh, uh, discuss what kind of uh, scattering uh, we can do, uh, direct and inverse, and then uh, a couple examples, and, uh, uh, so, uh, and then uh, some more, uh, what can be done in this context, uh, more specifically one side inverse scattering transform, and then uh, conditions, uh, all kinds of conditions, and then the main theorem. Um, uh, which I'm uh, 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 going to uh, uh, to explain with some uh, arguments behind it, and uh, uh, and then I'm uh, going to discuss what it implies. And uh, but first of all, uh, what uh, okay yeah, uh, what's the terminology I'm talking about? I'm talking about uh, so-called vial solutions which are well known uh, in the uh, uh, order two um, uh, linear ODE's uh, spectral theory. And it's of course due to Weil and Tichmarsh. And uh, uh, so given a Schrodinger, full line Schrodinger operator, we call uh, that the potential or uh, the uh, operator in uh, the limit point case at plus or minus infinity if uh, for any uh, uh, lambda from the upper half plane, the Schoenger equation has a unique solution up to a const multiplicative constant, which is called Weil uh, uh, solution, which uh, is uh, square integrable uh, on either plus or minus infinity. Well, and the existence of such a solution, as uh, uh, well known, is equivalent to uh, the self jointness of the Dirichlet uh, Schrodinger operator, half line uh, Dirichlet uh, Schrodinger um, operator, which says, well, if uh, uh, Q is in the limit point case, uh, then this operator is self enjoined. So you don't have to add a boundary condition at infinity. And uh, uh, sufficient conditions, actually, uh, uh, there are no uh, necessary insufficient conditions. It's an uh, old uh, open uh, question which uh, perhaps already forgotten a long ago. <laughs> and, uh, but it takes a lot of uh, potentials, uh, uh, so uh, almost no uh, conditions. Uh, an easy one to verify is uh, the uh, semi-essential uh, semi boundaries uh, from below. So your potential uh, could uh, go to infinity as fast as you want to and uh, could uh, be anything, but it should not uh, dive, uh, well, it should not go to minus infinity. Or it could uh, uh, dive to minus infinity, but would bounce back immediately. And, uh, uh, and uh, uh, next uh, is of course well-known concept of sh uh, short um, uh, range uh, potential, but I have to be a little bit more specific what I mean. I mean uh, uh, QE short range uh, at plus or minus infinity, if it's summable at plus or minus infinity with uh, the first momentum, that's what I mean by sh uh, short range. And short range in general, it means it's short range on, uh, on both infinities. And, uh, um, uh, and an example of such, uh, uh, of, of while function is, of course, uh, a Yost, uh, well-known Yost uh, uh, solutions, which uh, exist in the short range uh, context, but of course uh, exist uh, in much more uh, general setting. And uh, mm, 
and uh, such solutions are indeed vile, and uh, it suggests uh, that vile solution, uh, solutions uh, need to take over uh, your solutions when your solutions do not exist. And uh, uh, well, uh, I'm going to uh, be very traditional and concerned with the uh, KDV equation. We all think that everything is known about it, but I can argue that not uh, everything. And, uh, and the well-known inverse scattering transform uh, 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 goes uh, uh, as follows. You associate uh, the Schrodinger, full line Schrodinger operator and then do uh, direct scattering theorem. Then you evolve scattering uh, data uh, in time. And, uh, and then you solve uh, the inverse problem. And, uh, mm, as a matter of fact, uh, in the situation I'm going to discuss, every step is questionable in this procedure. And uh, uh, well, uh, my basic assumptions on uh, my initial data uh, that it's a, a short uh, range at plus infinity uh, and at the limit point case at minus infinity. So we're not talking about any kind of decay or pattern of behavior at uh, minus uh, infinity. Uh, but it's a short range of, uh, at plus infinity. So we can actually do uh, the one-sided uh, 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 scattering. And, uh, uh, and in this case, uh, since it's short range at plus infinity, there is uh, used uh, solution for every uh, uh, k uh, at plus infinity and uh, 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 q uh, uh, conjugate uh, uh, psi conjugate is also going to a solution and uh, forms a fundamental uh, uh, set for the showing the equation and it means uh, that uh, the vile solution at minus infinity uh, can be written down or uh, be normalized uh, by uh, uh, as a linear, this specific linear combination, where uh, R is, of course, uh, a well-known reflection coefficient. And of course, uh, this uh, uh, relation uh, is fundamental to inverse scattering transform and uh, Riemann-Hilbert uh, problem approach uh, and uh, uh, but uh, in my situation, uh, when uh, there is no decay uh, at plus infinity, reflection coefficient uh, is fundamentally different uh, from short range reflection coefficient. It's still uh, uh, contractive and uh, symmetric, uh, but uh, uh, it could uh, be, its modules could be one on whole intervals uh, of spectrum. And uh, it's, uh, it's modules less uh, than one or when uh, on um, intervals uh, of uh, uh, double fold absolutely continuous spectrum. And, uh, uh, and for uh, there is a non negative finite measure row, which I uh, call a norming measure. And it's reminiscent of what Tamara introduced in her talk, beta. She calls it beta, and it's not exactly the same, but uh, I believe it's close enough. And uh, uh, so uh, the jump uh, of the uh, vial, uh, vial solution across a uh, uh, band, uh, or actually uh, uh, cut, in the uh, along imaginary uh, axis uh, uh, would produce um, a measure which uh, uh, is related uh, uh, with uh, your solution by this formula. So, and the, the support of this uh, measure is directly related to uh, the spectrum of the Schrodinger operator. And uh, what else is, is true? Uh, that if uh, we form uh, 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 this set, uh, 
uh, reflection coefficient in this measure, then it forms uh, a scattering data for Q. It means that uh, Q uh, could be reconstructed uh, uh, if you know uh, uh, the scattering data. Well, examples, uh, of course, uh, uh, when measure uh, rho is discrete, uh, then you have uh, norming, uh, regular norming constants. And uh, uh, if you consider a step-like, pure step uh, uh, potential, which is minus uh, h squared on the left and zero on, on the right, uh, then the spectrum extends from minus h squared to infinity, and it's purely absolutely continuous, uh, negative, its negative part is purely absolute continuous, but simple. And uh, zero in, uh, infinity is, uh, uh, is uh, of multiplicity two. And in this case, everything uh, can be computed. Uh, uh, it's an easy exercise to compute uh, uh, what reflection coefficient and what uh, the measure um, no, would be in this case. And, uh, and now uh, our main uh, definition, it is a step type uh, KDV solution. Uh, all right, if we consider step uh, type uh, data introduced with no uh, pattern of behavior at minus infinity, and want to do KDV on such data, we outside, uh, we, we are badly outside of well poseness. There is uh, uh, no uh, banner space you could include such uh, uh, potentials and into, even to talk about uh, well poseness. So whatever you do, uh, you have to define uh, uh, what your solution is. And, uh, and here's my uh, uh, definition. I call a uh, uh, function of two variables, a step type KDV solution with uh, this scattering data if it's uh, uh, if uh, q of x t is step type, and uh, uh, there is uh, there is a uh, short range approximation uh, of our q uh, 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 such that uh, uh, the uh, scattering data for uh, uh, for this approximation weakly converges to uh, this, uh, this scattering data, and at the same time, uh, uh, the sequence uh, of potentials converge to, uh, uh, to uh, my step type, what I call step type KDV uh, uh, solution. I'm not uh, specifying what kind of convergence it is. It, it all depends, but I uh, call it double convergence. So we uh, need to have double convergence. And then it would uh, uh, pick up uh, the solution, which would be most natural uh, to, uh, to consider. And again, the, uh, there are no uh, well poseness for KDV. And as a matter of fact, there are examples where well poses fails badly. And um, one uh, important case when uh, everything uh, goes well, uh, it is uh, um, when uh, Q of X is essentially bounded from below. Uh, and moreover, uh, it has a slightly stronger uh, uh, than short range uh, decay at plus infinity. And uh, in this case, uh, uh, the sequence uh, of uh, uh, truncations would do the job. And uh, moreover, uh, uh, the sequence uh, of uh, short range solutions would converge uniformly on uh, intervals uh, uh, on compacts on the real line. And uh, as a matter of fact, Q of X is classical solution in the sense uh, uh, that it's at least three times differentiable in x and once in t. Um, uh, the way uh, actually when t goes to zero, how it converges uh, to, uh, 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 to initial q of x, it's a separate uh, uh, story. And, uh, mm, and what, uh, what is important is uh, that uh, scattering data evolves in time under um, the law, which we would uh, uh, expect, because otherwise 
um, you know, there would be nothing to talk about. And uh, um, now uh, my main uh, 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 conditions uh, for the rest of the talk, uh, uh, Q uh, of XT uh, is a step type KDV solution with this data. And moreover, uh, and uh, next, uh, I introduce uh, a measure uh, on uh, positive uh, real uh, half of the real line. And uh, this measure is finite, but need not be, uh, need not be signed defined. And, uh, and, and, uh, and completely supported. And plus uh, these two extra conditions. So it means that its density uh, uh, goes to, uh, to zero, uh, zero at zero. And uh, uh, if you take uh, the norming, uh, uh, the norming measure and add uh, this uh, measure, it, it is positive, uh, uh, at least non-negative measure. And uh, uh, then I introduce uh, one, uh, an integral operator, which will play important uh, part in my consideration. So what uh, I do, I take uh, uh, your solution and form uh, 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 the kernel by this formula. So uh, uh, they're both positive, uh, uh, not positive, uh, real, not, uh, real uh, 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 functions on the spectrum and, uh, and introduce the following measure. So it, uh, it's already time evolved. And, uh, and now uh, I guess I'm ready to state uh, the main uh, result, which, uh, which I call perturbation of negative spectrum, but it, it, it's actually uh, what other uh, call binary, uh, continuous binary transform, or some, some other people uh, call it, uh, can, uh, would call it uh, uh, continuous uh, double commutation. And, uh, and here's uh, the statement uh, is uh, the integral operator uh, introduced uh, before, uh, uh, well, let uh, uh, K be the integral operator uh, introduced before, and Xi again is the used uh, uh, solution on the spectrum, at the point of the spectrum, and then this integral equation has a, uh, a unique solution which is actually uh, 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 the your solution uh, for the following potential. So uh, uh, I label uh, this potential uh, Q sub uh, sigma, and it's equal to my original uh, potential, which you can think of as background potential, uh, plus uh, this extra term, uh, accountable for uh, the measure um, I introduced. It has a very distinct uh, uh, form, square plus uh, this kind of derivative. And, uh, and what's interesting about uh, this potential is uh, that it's also a step type KDV solution. Um, and uh, the scattering data uh, for it would be different from the scattering data for uh, uh, for Q, yeah, uh, for Q, uh, but with extra uh, delta uh, d sigma in it. So, in other uh, words, you can think of it uh, as a binary uh, uh, Darboux transform, uh, which uh, preserves uh, the reflection coefficient and alters uh, the measure. That's why I uh, call it perturbation of negative uh, theorem. Uh, of negative spectrum theorem uh, and the binary uh, Darboux transform uh, was uh, mm, the term was introduced uh, by mm, Babich and uh, mm, and Matveev in the 80s in the connection with KP uh, transform uh, 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 yeah but uh, uh, by, uh, in different terminology it was already used uh, in the 50s by Gilfant and Leviton. Uh, is there a sigma, is it a delta function? Is it, is oh yeah, it could be delta, of the, course. That reproduce the, the, it's what I'm going to discuss okay. on the next file. Yeah, sure. <laughs> yeah, uh, and uh, well, uh, I, I think I have uh, time to go over some ideas behind. It's based upon a suitable uh, gauge transformation. 
and uh, mm, and uh, uh, there is no lack uh, of view, different versions on different types of gauge transformation in the literature. And uh, the more I look at them, uh, the more uh, back in time I travel to <laughs> for different types of. Uh, um, so I didn't even uh, made an attempt to connect them and basically uh, uh, offer. The two references to look at, uh, at uh, uh, what perhaps some other people do, and uh, more specifically, uh, uh, Peter Miller and, uh, and Dennis uh, Billman, uh, Billman, and uh, they actually inspired <laughs> to, to do all those things, and in a way. Uh, and, uh, and, uh, and then uh, just a simple observation that if you have a trace class uh, self and joint uh, operator valued function on, on a real Hilbert space H, and uh, such uh, that its derivative in the parameter X is rank one, uh, uh, rank one operator, then the following uh, formula holds. It's a, uh, it's totally trivial formula, you can verify it, but nevertheless, it's important uh, uh, formula, and of course, limiting procedures. Those are hardest ones, nastiest ones, uh, uh, extremely painful. I don't know what to talk, talk about them. And uh, uh, <clears throat> well, uh, if uh, not now, uh, um, answering uh, Peter's question, if uh, uh, both measures are discrete, uh, then uh, of course it recovers. Uh, 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 binary, uh, regular binary, Darboux transform, uh, or double commutation method. Uh, and, um, uh, but as a matter of fact, uh, if the statement, well, uh, kind of, okay, oops. Uh, the statement seemed to be new even in this case. No, uh, at least to the form, and they never state uh, stated together. They consider uh, deleting spec, uh, introducing spectral uh, eigenvalues, or deleting them. Uh, but typically, statements are not different, and here uh, they are combined. And um, um, uh, moreover, if uh, uh, the uh, Derbout transformed uh, solution is as smooth as uh, the original is uh, as the original uh, uh, KDV solution, and if uh, uh, the uh, the support uh, of my measure Q uh, 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 doesn't touch zero, uh, then uh, this difference decays exponentially fast, or uh, or otherwise it is uh, actually short range on both infinities. So this difference is short range on both infinities, uh, but, uh, 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 but uh, the case exponentially otherwise. And, uh, and of course, we can uh, take a discrete measure, positive. If you take a positive, then, uh, uh, then we can actually insert uh, uh, soliton uh, on uh, intercontinuous. And uh, I'm not sure if it's actually uh, 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 a known, uh, uh, known uh, fact, but I may assume that the literature is so diverse. And, uh, uh, and also, uh, uh, binary Darboux transform is invertible in the sense that if you apply uh, uh, their boot transfer with positive measure, and then you uh, apply uh, again with negative measure, it will just cancel uh, uh, the effect. Uh, well, what is um, um, interesting is that there is no restriction, uh, uh, there is no restriction on the measure. The only restriction uh, I, uh, I gave, it, it, it's density, uh, vanishes at zero. Otherwise, it's just uh, just finite measure. 
And, uh, and uh, uh, again, uh, when you uh, perturb uh, your uh, negative spectrum, uh, this way it doesn't touch uh, the reflection coefficient. And uh, the condition uh, that the sum uh, must be non-negative is essential. Uh, if you, uh, uh, for instance, take negative uh, the sigma and uh, just uh, one point uh, outside of uh, uh, spectrum, it would produce a singular solution to the KDV equation as just uh, this formula uh, uh, shows. It's, it has a double pole, moving double, uh, double pole. And as a matter of fact, I believe uh, uh, all um, singular KDV solutions, which are quite popular in some uh, communities, could be reproduced uh, this way. So uh, this condition is essential. And uh, uh, the formula which I uh, uh, stated in the theorem can be actually uh, written down in a more compact form uh, uh, with this uh, second log uh, derivative of uh, one plus uh, that k I uh, introduced before. So you can think of it as a first whole determined uh, formula uh, Tamara was asking in, in the NLS uh, context, I uh, believe. And, uh, and how it's related to what's uh, been known, uh, the whole business of step type or step-like potentials uh, started uh, from Gurevich uh, Pitaevsky paper. And then it was rigorously approached by Hruslov in 76 and by Vinakides uh, 10 uh, years um, uh, later. And the main uh, discovery is uh, um, an infinite uh, sequence uh, of what uh, they call asymptotic uh, 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 solitons. Actually, Peter showed uh, some of them for, for a different uh, uh, system, though. And what's uh, uh, interesting is uh, that uh, the tallest, the first uh, uh, soliton is actually twice as high as the original hydraulic uh, 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 jump. What actually my uh, 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 theorem implies is that it's going to occur no matter if uh, uh, your potential is like this or not. As long as you have um, a negative spectrum, it, it, it would, uh, the first soliton uh, would uh, be uh, twice uh, the low bound of uh, the negative spectrum, no matter what your potential is. And uh, uh, so what kind of utility you can get out of it? And I have not uh, done um, anything. It's a little bit uh, kind of outside of my current interest, but uh, I assume that it can be done is uh, that you take negative spectrum and you zoom on part you want to. And isolate it through the uh, Darbu transform. And then, uh, and, uh, then you might uh, learn something. Um, uh, interesting. Uh, <clears throat> um, and of course, uh, uh, you know, there is a recent paper by uh, Ablovitz um, where they considered uh, the case uh, uh, right, uh, um, actually a right step potential where zero uh, on the left and minus h squared on, on the right. But of course, uh, uh, we can deal with that because, uh, because of simple, uh, a simple uh, transformation. Uh, but of course, uh, that trick would not work if your initial data behaves badly at minus infinity. And uh, uh, um, oops. And what is uh, 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 the main thing I, I, I would say? Well, mm, uh, some who are uh, familiar with the subject matter uh, could, uh, could recognize some of the formulas which have actually been put on the board by, by many speakers uh, in this conference is, but they uh, all assume zero reflection coefficient. Well, I uh, start from, uh, uh, Cauchy problem where uh, the uh, probability of zero reflection coefficient is zero. 
and uh, but potentially uh, uh, what uh, it can do is to uh, to de to describe a solid on gas uh, on mm, on uh, radiation profiles which would uh, uh, essentially go to zero but not from the beginning and perhaps influencing uh, the solution somehow and uh, the last uh, uh, slide is uh, uh, more or less explicit construction of reflectionless uh, uh, step uh, step type potential so that potential uh, would uh, decay uh, um, exponentially fast uh, at plus infinity would approach to uh, uh, constant on the left, uh, uh, but reflection coefficient would be zero. And thank you for your talk. I uh, didn't have, or oh, perhaps the only one who had no pictures in my, <laughs> my talk. <laughs> and it's uh, the only one I can uh, present today. A kind of rogue way. Thank you, Alexei. <laughs> Uh, we're a bit late, so maybe just one quick question, if there are any. Sorry. So just to understand, so when you put... Uh, Mike, uh, Mike is... is, uh, is can, you, can you listen? Okay. Uh -huh. So when, when you put, uh, so you, when you put embedded eigenvalues, so the solution is, is exists only if you have some uh, non-zero reflection coefficients also. Yeah. Otherwise, the solution will be unbounded. Um, uh, well, uh, yeah, yeah, he, uh, here's what, uh, uh, what I'm saying that you can uh, uh, add, you have a, a continuous, say, continuous negative spectrum. It doesn't have to be, uh, um, uh, uh, doesn't have to be a continuous, and you can uh, embed uh, uh, solitons in it. And, uh, and then uh, study uh, uh, what, what it does. And uh, mm, I'm not aware of an uh, example uh, where people would consider uh, specific or class of potentials where embedded negative eigenvalue uh, appears. So I'm going to suggest that we move on as, so that we maintain at least a semblance of uh, we're close, reasonably close to staying on time. So let's thank Alexei again for a very interesting talk. Thank you. And while we set up, I will announce a session in the microphone. Oh, I'm sorry, I forgot about it. Yeah. And, and,